Well, he's best known for an amazing career as one of Australia's best rugby league players. But if you want to find Steve Menzies' real passion, talk about golf and how he got started as a kid. I think I used to do little chip shots and up at my nan's house actually and she had the old little pea cans and she used to cut them into the grass and we used to chip and just used to do that in the backyard and probably didn't start playing till I was maybe 15 or 16 and then it, when you turn professional and you're 19 and a bit of spare time you um, then you can get in on it. I think it's the competitiveness you know the um, all the facets are, are, that you need for golf you need power you need finesse um, you know, I think the mental game is you know, a major part of golf, which, which I quite enjoy. I don't conquer very often, but I quite enjoy it. You're your own coach, your own worst enemy. Uh, I think on the field, you know, if Cliffy Lyons could flick me a little a hole that I could chip up to, that'd be a lot nicer. But it's, um, you know, you've only really got yourself to blame on the golf courts. You can't really... And just that you can, you know, have a competitive game, have a little wager with someone that's off 25 with a scratch marker. So at all levels, coming down the last couple of holes with you and your mates taking someone else, that competitiveness and that, um, yeah, I think that's what draws a lot of sports people. On our days off, here's an example, we'd have like a Wednesday off training and we'd get up early and leave at 5.30 from the leagues, your neighbours go up the horizons up here, uh, Nelson Bay, they play 36 holes, there, then drive back, that was, that was our day off, just to relax. Best golfer. Ben Walker was a pretty good golfer on his day. He was quite quite good. Uh, there was probably about five or six of us. Cliffy Lyons used to play. Nick Cossett played. Craig Field was a, was a, a big golfer. There's a few others used to play, used to come in and out. I'm a little bit nerdy in golf. I love stats and I love all things like that. And then I had an opportunity for, for post football and, and becoming involved in the golf industry in pure form. And that sort of, I, I figured, you know, the end is, He's going to come at some stage, it may as well be now while well, I've got this opportunity. Well, it came about, I was overseas playing um, in France and a good mate of mine, James Osborne, got the golf bug and started going and seeing a guy called Paul Jenner. He had this little dungeon, this little place that he used to fit and build clubs and he's one of Australia's best at building and fitting clubs and they're looking for someone else to come in and um, James knew I was a mad golfer and was coming back from France and sort of said, do you want to come on board? And that's sort of how I said yes and then said what do I need to do what you know we custom fit and build golf clubs but it's it's the way we do it the process in which we do it um, so everyone has a, a different swing characteristic whether it be a fast tempo naturally a high ball flight low ball flight so we get someone in looking at their spin rates their launch angle their ball speed club head speed using all these factors using TrackMan, we can custom build a shaft and head combination you know we carry 400 odd different shafts and maybe another 60, 70 heads that we can to fit to those. People want distance and accuracy and that's, that's hopefully what we give them. No, no, I come out and go and see the boys. I was out there yesterday. And I, I tried to keep my conversations to a minimum because I'm always out there with the boys out the back when they're building and I think I, they have fun, but I think I slow productivity down. So I try not to annoy them too much. No, I wish I could play more. I've, um, I've played once a week for the last two weeks, so I'm, I'm, hopefully that can continue. Um, I'm normally, you know, once every couple of weeks and try and get a practice session in. And I think I'm off about 9.3 at the moment. My last two rounds, I've had two 37s, so it's on the way down. Come and see me in 12 months. <laughs>